Over a recent three night stretch, a dozen homes across Minnetonka were burglarized, all in similar fashion. Police say they happened in different neighborhoods, six of them just last night. Nobody's been arrested, and there aren't any suspect descriptions. New at 10, WCCO's Jeff Wagner explains how the thieves pulled it off and what you should do to be safe. Yeah, we love it here. There's a lot of parks, there's a lot of kids, there's a lot of families, and it's quiet. Words that often define suburbs like Minnetonka. It doesn't feel like it's dangerous or crime is a normal thing here. While that might be the case, lately crime has been an issue. At least two home burglaries were reported in her neighborhood and 10 more across town in just three days. I guess I'll be more careful about leaving my garage door open and cars and stuff. Smart thinking, considering police say that's exactly what the burglars targeted. Investigators say suspects would look for unlocked cars, tap the garage door opener, and let themselves in. They made off with purses, wallets, and other belongings. I used to leave my car out in our driveway, and I just always felt it would be a really easy way for someone to break in by just either breaking a window or if the door just, I forgot to lock it. So when I'd go inside, I'd just take my garage opener with me and not leave it in the car. Josh Gallup was doing that before the burglaries happened and wonders if that kept his house from getting hit considering he lives only a few doors down from one of the victims. It's also what police suggest, along with locking your car doors and keeping your garage door closed at night. Also, and I guess as an extra precaution, we could lock the door from our garage into the house also. Couple more tips for you. Make sure you put your window well covers to block any sort of entrance to basement windows. Keep the area around your home well lit and make sure you take these precautions during daylight hours because that's often when people aren't even at home. All right. Good reminders for all of us. Jeff, thank you.